Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James and this is Astro Motivation where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little inspiration and motivation per your unique placement within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before a time of iPhones and iPads and I this and I that, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly where our dreams were and how to get them. And so if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get into it. Today I'm really, really excited to bring you a highly requested topic which is all about childbirth timing and when you will have a child okay and so these are some of my as an astrologer who's been doing this for quite a while these are one of my most obvious indicators and signs that someone will be conceiving or having a child in the very very near future okay now i do want to preface this video that by saying that these are not the only indicators okay these are not the only indicators within the chart and that there are a plethora of different indicators and transits and aspects that can happen within a birth chart that can show childbirth timing or possibility of childbirth in general and but these are just the most obvious all right and i i like to bring these topics to you guys to strengthen your knowledge and so that if you are ever looking at a birth chart you can know the telltale signs or the obvious signs of some childbirth timings and it, these are just things that i like to bring to you to not complicate things at, because they're like i said there are other different advanced techniques and aspects and transits that do indicate childbirth timing but these are the the most simple ones the most um, obvious ones and the easiest ones that i can bring to you in order for you to be able to grasp and understand when what when and what to look for when you are looking at a chart for the timing of birth or the timing of conception okay so if that sounds good to you let's go ahead and grab your birth chart grab someone else's birth chart and get curious and let's see if you have some of these indicators all right let's go the first indicator within the birth chart for me whenever i'm looking through someone's chart and they've asked me about childbirth timing and when they're going to have a child i thumb through and try to see when the person is going to be within their cancer rising solar return year okay so if you are familiar with solar returns it's just a section within your birth chart generator that you can look up to see when or where you know your solar return chart is gonna you know show up and every year you will have a different rising sign usually if you have a cancer rising solar return year this is the sign of motherhood this is the sign of family this is the sign of childbirth so this is one of my telltale signs you know if someone is thinking about conceiving and they've asked me you know generally nine times out of ten if they are coming up upon a very um if they're coming up upon a cancer rising solar return year this will indicate along with some other transits as well um some childbirth timing for them okay that they will be having a child very very soon okay so let me know are you having a cancer rising solar return year very very soon and you are thinking about having a child very soon because this could indicate that you know it could happen for you all right let me know in the comments below bye the next indicator that is super super obvious for me would be within your natal chart looking in your normal natal chart if a person has jupiter or more importantly pluto transiting their fifth house this is which is the house of children you know your future children this is the house of children transiting the fifth house this is going to show that they will be conceiving or will be having a child in some time during that transit or the the idea of children will come up or the theme of child and children and having a child will come up in their life very strongly especially if they have that pluto transiting their fifth house you know i looked over my mother's birth chart i looked over some friends birth charts who were um conceiving or thinking about having a child and I've looked at other people's birth charts as well, uh, and nine times out of ten, when that Pluto hits that fifth house, this is going to be indicative of them potentially having a child very, very soon, or within that long transit, they will be dealing with children, children of their own, other people's children, their children having a child, you know, trying to have a child. This is what this would indicate, okay? So Jupiter 
or Pluto transiting the fifth house is a very, very strong indicator. Let me know if you have this indicator in your birth chart, okay? This, the next indicator is going to be a little bit of an advanced one, okay? So bear with me here, really open your ears, open your mind and really try to follow my words, okay? So this next indicator is going to be if the fifth house lord, meaning the ruler or the ruling planet of the sign on your fifth house, all right, are you following me? The ruling planet or the ruling, you know, planet of the sign on your fifth house, wherever it's sitting in whatever house, in your birth chart, if in that house Jupiter and Pluto are hovering or transiting over that planetary ruler, this is indicative of potential childbirth conception or having a child or the themes of child will come up. It's a very, very tricky one, but it is an advanced one, but this one definitely shows that they will be dealing with childbirth or having a child or trying to get children or trying to have children. This is what can be seen here, okay? So I'm gonna say that again. The ruler of your fifth house, meaning let's say you have Taurus as your fifth house sign. You search for Venus, wherever Venus is in your chart sitting in whatever house from one through 12, wherever Venus is sitting, if in that house, let's say Venus is in the ninth house in this imaginary chart and Jupiter or Pluto is hovering over that Venus, boom, that is conception of a child. That is what I am talking about. So try to do this with your fifth house ruler and see where your fifth house ruler is in your natal chart and see if you have Jupiter or Pluto transiting that house, okay? Because this is one of the telltale signs that you will be dealing with children or having a child of your own okay so uh, let me know if you have that or if you have something similar let me know in the comments below okay the next telltale sign within the birth chart within your natal chart right that will show childbirth timing is if you have pluto transiting over your moon i don't care where that moon is in your chart i don't care if your moon is sitting in the first i don't care if your moon is sitting in the 10th i don't care if your moon is sitting in the eighth if you have pluto transiting over your moon you are going to be dealing with the themes of motherhood of children of you know starting a family in some respect okay this is a definite definite indicator of childbirth timing okay so check where your moon is wherever your moon is sitting in your birth chart is pluto on its way there is pluto coming up you know is it on its way to be meeting that uh moon in your chart if so this indicates that you will be dealing with the themes of motherhood, all right? Or if you are a male looking at this, this chart, you will be dealing with the themes of fatherhood. You will be having a child, okay? So let me know if you have something similar, okay? But this is a, that one is a big one, all right? This next one, I feel like a lot of people sleep on this one, okay? And this one is if you have Jupiter or Pluto transiting your fourth house, okay? If you have Jupiter or Pluto transiting your fourth house, it's gonna show that there is an expansion or a transformation coming into the home front, into the domestic life. And for women, this is coming into the motherly energies within her soul, within her chart, within her home. So Pluto transiting the fourth, Jupiter transiting the fourth, nine times out of 10, this person will be expanding or transforming the home dynamic, okay? And so this combined with some other placements at the same time could definitely indicate childbirth, okay? Or having a child of their own, all right? So let me know if you have something similar the next indicator within the birth chart that are that's super super obvious for me is if Jupiter or Pluto is transiting the sign of cancer wherever cancer sits in your birth chart wherever it is if it's in the ninth if it's in the eighth if it's in the 20th if it's, it doesn't matter where cancer is in your chart if Pluto or Jupiter is transiting the house, you are gonna be dealing with the themes of motherhood, especially if you've been planning or trying to have children, and it's on your mind and you've been thinking about it. Whenever Jupiter, the, the planet of expansion, or Pluto, the sign of transformation, goes into Cancer, this is the motherhood sign. This is the motherhood placement, for Christ's sake. So that being said, you will definitely be someone that's dealing with the themes of motherhood, especially if Pluto is transiting to that uh, over your Cancer or, or your Cancerian house. Wherever your Cancer house is, if Pluto or Jupiter is transiting over it, boom, Eureka. 
that is a definite indicator that you will be during the duration of that those transits or the duration of that transit you will be dealing with themes of childbirth you will be having a child you will be trying to get pregnant you will be trying to have kids you will be adopting you will be you will be dealing with the themes of being a mother a paternal figure a father okay this is what is shown here within the birth chart okay now last but not least all of the indicators that i just named all apply to not only your natal placements right your natal chart but they also apply to your solar return chart they also apply to your secondary progression chart as well okay so like i said in the beginning of the video know that these are not the only indicators within the chart and know that if you did not have these placements know that you are not doomed know that you are not cursed know that you are not ever going to have children know that there are millions there are hundreds of different configurations within the chart different transits different uh placements in the chart that alarm an astrologer like myself if there is going to be childbirth timing but this video is the easiest way that i can show my beginners that i can show the people who are out there who are curious about astrology what is what when looking for childbirth timing all right Th these videos are just a guide and an outline to really get your mind geared in the right place to know what to look for okay um but if you are ever curious about having a childbirth timing definitely reach out and i will be happy to let you know if that is a potential for you Otherwise, I am wishing you a beautiful, blessed day. Let me know if you have something similar within the comments below, and I will let you know if that is a possibility for you. And I will see you on the next video, all right? Bye.